Hmm, we got a tragic here. Welcome back to Pathfinder. This is the Wardstone Patrol, and this is probably going to be our last turn. We've only got two open locations. This one is 12 cards, so that's quite deep. And we've got, but we've got two entire rounds, which means we'll probably finish it either this round or early next round. So I'm just going to do both the uh, both the rounds this video and just get it out of the way. And then we can move on to the next one. We've uh, got another two to go before we finish the world wound. And then I'm going to have a break from Pathfinder on the channel and try something else. Uh, I'm probably going to do uh, Galaxy Defenders because I was asked to do that a few times. Okay, let's get into this. Uh, for starters, let's uh, have a quick look at what we've got. There's two open locations. One of them is the Corrupted Soldier one, the guard post, which I quite like this location. And the other one is the Canyon, which is a horrible location. It's got three barriers, three monsters. It's a terrible place. And to close this place, we need to acquire blessings. Now, blessings are most commonly acquired with the divine trait. So what we're going to do is we're going to send divine characters to that location, including my healer. And they're going to do their thing, and the healer's going to heal people as required. Everyone else is going to go to the guard post. So we're going to actually start off by selling, sending Alan to the canyon, even though we don't really need him at the canyon, because I want to get Doverhan back onto the table. So you put this onto the table to move at the end of the turn, and then you can discard it for an extra D8, but it, while it's in your hand, it's doing nothing. So... Let's advance the blessing deck. Oh, let's get rid of that thing. Let's oh, wait, there's one more thing I forgot. I didn't draw cards for Honora last turn. Okay, let's go. Uh, advance the blessing deck. And you'll note that in the chat log, I've actually got... It says corrupted now. I don't know if I said that last time, so I, I know what's corrupted without looking up here anymore. Okay, let's draw the first card. Oh wait, before we draw this card, we need to do the Corrupted Soldier. So we should be able to do this. We've got the Mace, which is a D12, uh, a D10 plus two, plus we have a D8 from the Mace. And this should be, oh, we just got it. We only need nine to defeat him at the, this point in the game. So we just made it. Okay, so boom, that's the end of that. What's this thing? This is a charisma, and our charisma is 8-3. Now charisma is a great way to get these kind of guys. Hopefully we can get this in. Yay. Ooh, that's a total miss. We only needed three to get this, so that's a pretty bad fail. And that is the end of our turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to play out Dehoven or whatever his name is and move him to the guard post. Oh wait, we didn't actually have to fight the guard post. We weren't at the guard post. God, what a terrible start. Oh well, I beat him so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I did an extra roll I didn't need to. Anyway, so we're moving back to the guard, guard post and now this guy's on the table. I'm actually going to discard this, and I'm going to discard this, because I want to try and dig out a blessing. We did get a blessing. We also got the bomb to replace the dinosaur, and we got the lance. So, that was all pretty good. Next, we have Crow. He is at the guard post. The really reels this time. So, let's actually do this. It's a D12 plus 1 with a D6 plus 1. We should definitely... Complete this. We're going to need nine to kill this guy. Oops, I also have the Sage's Journal, so we've got another fall. I actually failed that roll, but we do have the Sage's Journal, which I forgot to use, so we'll just quickly re roll it. That's more like it. <coughs> okay, boom. And now we get a draw, your blammo. Heavy pickaxe. Ooh, strength merely 12. That's a D6 plus one. You can discard to add another D6 and the fire trait. This could be really, really handy for when we're fighting the trees. I actually would really like this, but it's a, it's a 
dick. It's a 12 melee, which means I need to roll a, a natural 11. I don't have any... I, I do have one blessing, but I really don't think it's worth using. We're just going to have to risk this roll. Give us a 12. Come on. What you got for us? Oh, one. That's no good. Three. Oh, I saw that 11, 11 tantalizingly. Okay, let's uh, get rid of two of these. And we're going to draw another one, two, three. Ah, oh, finally, we get the Earth Shaker. Beautiful. Okay, advance the Blessing deck. Now, Sheila is going to move to the canyon. Now, the canyon has nothing special. It just means that uh, when you encounter a non-henchman, non-villain monster, each other character at this location encounters that monster. Wow, that's actually horrendous. Okay, let's hope we don't get a monster. Corrupted Crusaders. Before you act, draw a random ally from the box. Yeah, blammo. Each character at location summons and counters the henchman corrupted soldier. Okay, beautiful. One, two, three. Oh, wait. Uh, there we are. And you as well. Okay, we'll do her combat first. We're going to use the fire blade on her. Uh, we'll get, should keep that just in case we get the tree. So this is a D6 plus a D8. Wow, that is horrible. All right, let's risk it. Your blammo. That's uh, a fail. So we get two points of damage because he always does two points of damage. We're just going to recharge our scale mail. Now we did fail this, so what this says is, the barrier is defeated or undefeated solely on your encounter. If any corrupted soldiers were not defeated, you banish the ally. So we're now rolling to close the, like to get rid of the barrier, but we have lost this, this uh, researcher is gone. We can't ever win him. So we're gonna use our new awesome shield or mace thing, which is a D8 plus three, plus a D10 to get a nine. So we definitely should get this, right? Oh, we just get it to five and a one. Okay, whatever. Anyway, so all that stuff is completed. You blam, let's just get rid of it. Now we're gonna get rid of the mace and the wooden shield. Oh, you know what I forgot? I, I want to get rid of sort of Ilvigan from her hand because basically I should have given that away at the beginning of her turn. I'm going to give it to her now. Basically, during the give phase of the turn, you can give this to anyone at any location. And I wanted to get it out of her hand because what I'm trying to do with this turn is draw uh, blessings. Still no blessings. So I'm trying to empty the hands as much as possible. Okay. What have we got here? She is also gonna, uh, yeah, she's also gonna go to this location. Now, before we start, let's search our deck and grab our cohort and then give this a shuffle. Yoink. That's because her ability allows us to grab cohorts from the discard or a deck. Your blammo, what you got for us? Battle Rallying Cry. Each character draws from the box a random ally that lists diplomacy in its check to acquire. If all characters succeed, this barrier is defeated. If any character fails, this barrier is undefeated. Banish all allies and you may bury... Okay. So basically everyone gets to draw an ally, but if one person fails, then everybody fails. So we'll just do it in order and that the first fail will just stop. So this guy needs a diplomacy eight. So he's a great character. I hope we get this, but we are rolling a D eight plus three. So it's a pretty hard roll. I'm not gonna spend any uh, blessings or anything on this. Okay, so that's good. He won. Next. 
this guy is not very good at getting allies. It's got to be a diplomacy ally too. Diplomacy 8. Oh, he's got a charisma of 8. So if we're super lucky. Oop. Shit, that's the wrong button. Oop. Uh, the roll button is the one I want. I'll give that a shuffle. Seems like he accidentally drew that. Okay, so we failed. So we failed all... The, all the allies are failed, but we're gonna do, we're gonna banish this anyway. So let's just get rid of it. Okay, we're now gonna play out this bloke. <coughs> B pardon. He allows us to peek at the top card of the deck. Ah, oh, it's Bramorak. Well, that's good. We know that that is the final guy. Uh, that that will close that location. That is excellent. That's really good because now we know that she's not going to draw it. Okay, so anyway, uh, we are going to discard you. We're going to discard you. We're going to keep Fireblade in case we get the tree. Draw one, two, three. Nice. Finally get her fancy long blow. And we do have the Caravan Guard. That's excellent. Okay, Yablamo, you are going to go to the guardhouse. So that's one, two, three. We'll do a fiery glare. Uh, not fiery glare, we're keeping them. That's a D12 plus one plus two D4s. I don't like her at the guardhouse really because it's sort of a waste of spells because you know the unlike weapons the spells are discarded so fighting a soldier every turn really depletes her uh, ability to fight but we just got to dig through these decks Ugh. that is a fail okay i have no way of doing a second exploration oh, i do have this guy actually Let's do it. Yoink. Okay. Cons Charisma Diplomacy. Our Charisma is a D8. It's a real shame we didn't actually get a monster. And that's a fail. Oh wait, I could have used this. Discard to add one die to your check to acquire a boon. Yeah, so... Let's do that. D8 plus 1. Still a fail. <laughs> An even worse fail. And we need a knowledge check 10. Now our knowledge is ridiculous. D12 plus 3. So hopefully... You blamo. <clears throat> we needed a 10 to recharge it. So that is still a fail. And I'm going to discard this as well and draw another uh, four. One, two, three, four. Wow, that's our entire hand. Okay, uh, did I? Yeah. Let's so advance the blessing deck. And now we know Bamorak's there, so we are going to just do a heal. I guess I'm going to come over here. I'm going to heal her. So that is a D4 plus one. Whoops. Too many dice. D4 plus one, baby. Yoink. Oh, that's only a two. It's not very good. Oh, what am I doing? Do that again. Okay, and I'm actually going to do a cure on myself. That's another D4 plus one. Let's get a higher than two this time. Give us a five. Or a three is perfect because we actually have three cards in our discard pile. Beautiful. And 
it's a D12 1 2 to recharge. We only need an 8. Beautiful. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to discard this. I'm going to discard this. And I'm going to draw one, two, three, try and get some blessings. Okay. Right, so basically we know what we're doing here. So I'm just going to keep going. Alan is going to move over to this location. And then we're going to uh, let's advance the blessing deck and draw our boss. Now it says here, non-henchman, non-villain. So we don't have to worry about everyone else fighting this thing. He's immune to electricity and fire traits. So the difficulty of defeat is increased by twice the scenario's deck number, blah, blah, blah. We've done this many times. He does have piercing and slashing. We're gonna use the mace, uh, the lance, beg your pardon. Fortunately, we don't have a mount in the hand. I put a bunch of mounts in there, but it didn't work out. So we got the lance. Uh, that is a D10 plus two plus one D8. I'm also going to put this card on top of my deck. That gives me another D8. I'm also going to spend a blessing that gives me another D8 because I do not want to fail this roll. Do we have any other blessings? We do. Okay, 18, that is a pass, your blammo. And now we need to acquire the bottom blessing. Which is Dexterity, Disable or Divine 5. So he's got an intelligent, he's got a Wisdom of six. So we need we need to win this. So we get one six. Whoa, discard this card to add two dice to any non wisdom any non combat wisdom check. Bam. So that's another two dice. We only need a five, I'm pretty sure three dice three sixes to roll a five is very doable. Yeah, blammo. Okay, boom, we get that in hand and this place is closed. So now what we do is we search it and see if the villain's in there. It is not. Yoink. So that place is closed. Okay, so I'm going to discard. How many blessings does this guy have? He has three blessings in his deck. He has one blessing in his discard pile. So I'm going to discard three of these and draw one, two, three. No blessing, but we do get the horse. <laughs> okay, this guy's roll. One, two, three. Bam. First, he's got to fight this guy. He's going to do it with the uh, Earthbreaker. 12, 1, 6, 1. Actually, has the same. Oh, it's 2d6s. That's right. The 6, 1 is this thing. Uh, we don't get an 8, though, do we? No. Something weird going on there. It's 12 plus 1 plus 2d6s. This still should be plenty to kill this guy. Oops, and I forgot the Sage's Journal again. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. So, there we go. That's the correct roll. Seventeen. Done. Okay, let's uh, draw it out. Bam. What you got for us? We know the villain's in here, and there he is. Combat 15. 
He's immune to electricity and fire traits. Before you act, each character at your location is dealt one damage. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Oh wait, she's not even at the location. Who's the other person at the location? The girl. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Now we just need to get a 15 damage. So, Earthbreaker. This is... Well, we should roll a million dice here. So it's a d12 plus 2d6s plus 1 plus a blessing of shellac or whatever. Two dice to any combat strength or dexterity check. So that is another 2d12s. Sage's journal. That is a d4. Another blessing. That's another d12. Another blessing. That is another d12. Another blessing. This is a blessing of Baphomet. It is the first exploration of the turns. So that's another two dice. So that's seven d12s, two d2s, and a one. Somehow I think he's dead. <laughs> It's a good idea of seeing the kind of rolls we can do later on in the game, though. Ooh. 52. Nice. So 52 is actually not that high when you think about it. We look at, say, uh, City of Locusts, right? I can find the villains here. Look at that. 66 combat. you got to do it three times in a row to beat this guy. <laughs> Nasty. You get super powerful by the end of it. You don't even recognize your characters. Okay, well, that's that. Uh, that's the end of this. So, get rid of that. Get rid of that. We cleared every single location ex that, that one, which is pretty crazy. And now... Each character gains a random ally with the Hireling or Soldier trait. Now, I'll just do that down here. Boom. Hireling. 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 Oh, God. I wish I got that card. Hireling. Gee. Come on. Give us some soldiers. Hireling. We've got one more card to get. Give us a soldier. Come on. Hireling. Oh, this is actually a really good one. Okay. Well, that's that. We have now completed you know what I should do I when I when I do the deck builder I'll make it delete all the dice okay well that's that beautiful wardstone patrol is completed we killed the bazaar demons or buzzerak demons or whatever they're called and we had three three turns to go nice okay well that's that I will see you guys for the deck builder and I will probably yeah, I think I'll do the deck builder and then I'll, uh, I won't do the law video. I will do the law video when I start the next one, which I'm going to take a little bit of a break from Pathfinder for a while. I want to finalize the mod and actually publish it. I think it's pretty good now. There's a couple of little tweaks I want to do, but what I really need to do is go through all the other cards here, all these cards and, uh, set them up so they actually function, you know, give them the right codes and stuff. And I also want to, do some little changes like for example this card here right it's got basic written on it so I can easily find it with you know modding but I want to do the other ones as well like elite and the reason why is because later on as you as you level up your deck building you can choose different instead of just choosing basic cards you can get elite cards or veteran cards or whatever Anyway, that's that. I will see you guys next time. Uh, just before I go, I did notice two pretty big mistakes here that I need to address. The first one was this thing actually just said divine. So I can't use my wisdom die to roll for this. It has to be the default die, which is always the D4, which is pretty bad. It's not really going to affect the outcome of the game, 
<clears throat> because we only need a d5. Now remember, we did discard... We, so we get a d4 for free. We discarded our own blessing that gave us a d4. Plus we did a blessing that gave us two dice. So we actually rolled four d4s. We only need a five. That means only one die needs to not roll a one and we get this. It's like a 99% chance or whatever. I don't know what it is. Some, some, well, I guess it's a one, a three, three out of four chance of getting this. So, I mean, I'm not going to take the roll back, but basically we're guaranteed to get this pretty much. And the thing is the final roll, we had like a bazillion dice, not having one dice or just, you know, having a one less blessing on that roll wouldn't have hurt that roll either. So I'm going to just call that a mistake and continue. The other mistake I noticed during the editing is that I actually, boom, there was another researcher, like another hireling that came out of the deck that I didn't notice for some reason because I was going to quick. So unfortunately, we do not get good old Blethus Loomis, who I really wanted. Yoink. That really sucks. Okay, that's that. And I will see you guys next time. My big takeaway from this adventure and doing the editing where I get to look at it all slowed down is that this guy here is... I just didn't use him correctly. The problem with this guy is that he, he took up people's hands. You know, like he, he took up a, a space in their in their hand. So Kara is our blessing machine. So she had like five blessings. So this is just basically a card that I didn't draw as a blessing. I think the best place for him would probably be an Anora who has a hand size of six. But putting him in a four hand size aura is just wrong. Crow does not need that extra power in his combat. So it's useless to him. And she already had like so many blessings so many cohorts it's just ridiculous so it's a uh, yeah it's a uh, I don't think I used him correctly but anyway I'll see you guys next time